is as good as it's going to get this morning. <laughs> We're a little bit socked in. <laughs> womp womp. But a cool experience sleeping up here, nonetheless. But no sunrise and barely any sunset. <sighs> so of course as we're packing up to leave, it starts to <laughs> move out a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> it's trying. Oh wow, this says gorgeous. Yes. It's like everything is still just blocking the sun. Perfect timing. People are about to come up. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the hair in my mouth. <laughs> All right, back on trail this morning. I know I mentioned uh, paying the mile man today, but I think we're gonna have to write him an IOU. <laughs> I'm so clever, not really. Um, <laughs> we were, so when we slept in the tower last night, I had pretty decent signal. And this hostel has been commenting on a lot of our videos and following our journey, etc. barn door hostel. And they were like, oh, I'm not sure how far your videos are delayed. I hope you get to stay with us. And I just kept forgetting to like see where they actually are on trail because I did want to stay there. And I told Chuck, I was like, that hostel's 10 miles away. I was like, book it. So we're going to go stay with them because they've been so supportive of us. We want to go and support them. That and we need to resupply <laughs> um, before our stretch into the whites is getting real. So we're going to go, um, we have some food, but it's not enough food to get us through. And we need, I want to do a little bit more research into the huts and to see like what we'll be able to buy while, if they're open, like as far as maybe like lunches go. I know there's like soup and stuff I hear. I just need to do a little more reading before I figure out how much food we actually need to buy because it's going to be a pretty long stretch. So the less food I have to carry, the better especially since we're getting into some of the hardest climbing we will have done so far. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. Oh, super cool sleeping in the tower last night. The wind was insane, um, but that tower did not budge at all. Yeah, if you need a tower in your backyard built, <laughs> don't find out who built that one. Like, it's crazy. Those, so, those we used to live um, in Nags Head, North Carolina, in the Outer Banks, and we had a lot of nor'easters come through and our house was raised on stilts because we were on the beach. And anytime a nor'easter came through, we were sleeping and it was doing this, the whole house. So I was fully expecting to be rocked to sleep last night in that tower, but that thing did not budge. And the wind got so bad, we both put in earplugs, so. And it rained on us a little bit, um, but Chuck's MacGyvered uh, backpack to plug that hole worked beautifully. Not a single drop came through, but there must have been something above my head <laughs> that was dripping. So I kept getting dripped on in my, my face <laughs> of all places. <laughs> could have been worse. I guess it could have been getting our down bag wet. But we made it through unscathed, thankfully. But we had a backup plan. The shelter was right there in case it got too squirrely. But thankfully it didn't come to that. Because it was a really cool thing to experience. We got to sleep in a... I'm guessing it's a fire tower. Um, but yeah. It was really cool. <laughs>
I wonder when this happened. Looks pretty fresh. It's a huge blowdown. Up on Mount Cube. Beautiful day, a little overcast, but still quite pretty. It's so slippery. It's slippery and it's like sloped. Whew. I hate putting all of my trust into that rotting wood. All this recent rain. Everything's flowing so nicely on trail. They, like most of the day, the trail was a water source. I don't know why I'm trying to keep my feet dry. They're already soaked. I've, I've dunked them multiple times already. It's slippery. It's like, yeah. Uh, it's like, not wet, but it's like gritty, but not grippy, if that makes any sense. All right, short legs, let's do this. Yeah, that one rock it was so deceiving. It looked like it was grippy and it was like super slick. Almost to the parking lot. Uh, we've had three <laughs> low mileage chill days. So it's been nice, but I know what's coming. I'm excited for what's coming, but I know it's just going to kick, kick my butt. So I'm ready for it. So tomorrow we'll have Musalak, Musalaki. I don't know the proper pronunciation. I've heard both, but that is on the agenda tomorrow. So we'll hit that after some nice chill days. It'll be like a brick wall to humble us, <laughs> humble our legs. Oh, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely stunning. So I'm quite excited. But yeah, this has been all day, just mud pit after mud pit after mud pit. <laughs> Eating fresh. <clears throat> so this is the pack shack where we keep our smelly packs. <laughs> this is really cute. Um, and hello to uh, Ritz and Fluff. 
our friends that are way far ahead of us. And we just sat and talked with uh, Miss Diane, who has been leaving me nothing but nice and supportive comments. So it was so nice to meet you. I'm sure you'll see this. Um, this place is amazing. It's super clean, super organized. Definitely, definitely awesome spot. And I'm going to sign. Time to make this less chaotic. <laughs> Also, I have the best loner shirt possibly ever. Um, it's got the dog on it from the hostel. His name is Goose. Hot chocolate. Hello, friend. Where are we going? We're going to get some supper. So we're in, well, I'm in the bunk room. And I'm gonna lay down and edit some video. Um, we got all our stuff repackaged and repurposed in our food bag for our next pretty long stretch going into the whites. So we're gonna, yeah, get some early, an early night. I'm gonna edit a couple of videos and then crash and then, cause we got a long day tomorrow. So yeah, good night.